earlier in the day i got i got in a fake fight with mark Wahlberg for no reason you ever do that you're just like dude what if i was like working with mark Wahlberg on a movie and like he like started giving me attitude i'd be like oh dude i'm not gonna stand for that like in my head i was just at drinking coffee i was on my way to some fucking coffee shop in albuquerque that's all painted white outside that's way too bright hey albuquerque never paint anything outside white do you know why it reflects the sun and do you know that is 1000 degrees Dude, I was so ridiculous. I, I, I parked my car. By the way, got a killer fucking red Honda. Rented it. And uh, I parked and I went to the coffee place. And there was like this like outside kind of like mallish area. And it was all painted white. And I, and I was like looking for the coffee place that I looked up on Yelp. And I just looked like Clint Eastwood trying to do anything in his life. I don't know. I have signed and bring sunglasses, of course. And, and oh, and the misters were every dude. There was this burger place next to the fucking coffee place, and there were these. There was like an outside seating area, and people were sitting there, and it was just tss, misters. So many, so much water that it, they were just eating burgers in a lake, and people were out delivering. Bur- dude, I'm sorry, but Albuquerque has it nailed. They have it nailed down because who the fuck would want burgers outside? At 12 p.m. when it's 102 degrees out. Hey, hey, I'll skip the meal. Hey, you want to eat? Sure, where you want? Oh, well, we're going to go eat burgers in hell. What? Yeah, but there's le- it's in a lake, basically. I'll skip the meal, dude. Hey, catch me at dinner. What was I talking about? Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, so I got a fake fight with Mark Wahlberg. Because I don't know why. I think he was like... When I was I was in my head and I was just like kind of getting the coffee and I was reading the script, um, and uh, to see how much it changed from the first draft. And then uh, in my head, Mark Wahlberg, like I was doing a movie with him, and he was just like, "Hey, man, you can't talk to me like that" or something. I was like, "I didn't even mean to do that." Like, and he was like, "Huh?" You know, he was like, uh, "We're not gonna be doing that to me." And then I was like, "Oh, dude, yo, yo, hey, I'm not that guy." Like that's what I was saying in my head. <laughs> And I know he like boxes and shit, so I was like, okay, fine, fine, fucking fight. I don't even give a shit, dude. If you want to fight, fight me. I don't. What, what the fuck do I care? And I had some cool insults. I have I have them locked in my head in case he has, ever gets in a fucking fight with me. I'm not gonna tell him on the podcast because I ain't gonna come up with new ones if it really happens. Or I can just use them and they'll be like fan faves. Bro, I got insults with so many stars in my head just in case, and then just in case somebody has a camera on me. People are like, why does Dalia keep coming up with these fucking cool things before fights? <laughs> He's like the real Arnold Schwarzenegger. Remember in fucking uh, the movie, uh, 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 what the fuck? Erase, 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 eraser, er, eraser, where he plays. It, I think it's Eraser. He, he's in a movie called Eraser. Ivan gets rid of, looks at me and says, Eraser, like it's fucking The Godfather. And, uh, and he's like, um, and, and, uh, there's this one part where, and he clones himself. So it's about Arnold Schwarzenegger cloning himself. And, uh, and, uh, there's two part. There's, I don't know if one of this one may not be an eraser, but he shoots the alligator that's attacking him. Hey. And he says, your luggage, which is dope. And now I can't use that because if in case an alligator attacks me, I have to think of a new one. But, um, uh, and then there's one that's so f- s a forced that it was unbelievable. So he they clone he clones himself and shit, and he and uh, they clone him, and he he realizes it or something. And then at the end, he says he says to the guy who's like the head bad guy, he's like, "Well, in that case, you should have you should have cloned yourself." And then the guy says, "Why is that?" Like fucking. Like, like any guy, here's the other thing too. If somebody was going to fucking slam me like that and said, well, in that case, you should have cloned yourself. There's no way I'm saying, why is that? Cause that's giving him the fucking open door to the slam. Hey dude, no way. I go like this. All right, whatever, bro. Get out of here. And then he can't say the thing. Dude, you, you think I'm wrong? To, to, you think I'm wrong? You want to fucking be mad with me? Take it up with Jesus Christ, dude. So. Take it up with Jesus Christ and uh, take it up with Christ, dude. Hey, that's what I'm going to... That's going to be my new argument stopper. Ah, take it up with Christ. That's what I'm going to say to Wahlberg. That's what I'm going to say to Wahlberg when we get him. You know what? You don't fucking talk to me like that. Hey, dude, really? Take it up with Christ. 
That would probably get him because you know he's religious. I don't even know if he's religious, but you know he's religious. He's from Boston. Everybody in Boston, they're the most religious people in the world, dude. It's so fucking Irish, dude. 